Yeah, so it was a big question about whether it's GCP or we're going to go some up. Hang on a second. Big time TV show. Today's episode of uh, the TV show is going to be about writing data from Kafka to GCP Google Cloud Storage. Easy for me to say. GCS, as they say in the business. So Kafka writing, we're going to write JSON formatted files. We're going to write Avro for formatted files to GCS, Google Cloud Storage. Then we're going to read that data back into Kafka. So let's get started. Um, but before we do, always remember we've got this screencast, this big time TV show should be accompanied by a blog post that lists all the commands that I'm going to be running here. So if you want to see that, it's going to be a link somewhere up in this corner here. Okay. Um, let's get started by running Confluent Local Start. And while this is firing up, let's cover a few of the things and resources that we'll be using today. First, we've got um, the Google, the GCS Sync um, already installed. It's this one here. I have copied over the GCP sync properties file. At least I think I did. Let's take a look. Yeah, GCS sync properties file. I've got that locally or local in this in the root of my Confluent directory. Um, some of the things that I've updated here and I call out in the blog post is this JSON security file describing, the blog post describes how to do that. Um, we're going to be writing into a bucket called Kafka Connect Example. How's that for original? Um, and th again, this file is available from this GitHub repo called T McGrath. That's me in the Kafka Connect Examples. And then I've got this GCP folder. We're going to be going over this sync file. So if you want to run this on your environment, clone this repo and edit that file if you like doing things the easy way. Um, okay, so we have, we're still waiting for this to fire up. We've shown that it's installed. We've got, um, we've got the, the properties file for our sync connector ready to go. Let's take a look at um, the GCS bucket. We can see that it is empty. We can also confirm that it is empty through this GC util. If I remember this right. Um, bucket. Oh, hell. I think I just ran it, so let's grip for it. Uh, GCS, GS util. Oh, my, oh, my. Isn't this embarrassing? There it is. It's up further in my history. So GSUtil ls, it's empty. So nothing hidden. It's a real demo. Empty bucket. It's probably started by now, so it is. Let's generate some test data. You know the routine. This is covered in another post. Link to that post and generating this uh, data is available from the blog post. So we'll run through and we'll create um, some orders in Avro format. And then if we load up our connectors, our connector, as so, you should see that status going. And now if we ls in that bucket, Mana. There's a topics directory, and we'll start seeing it broken up by um, the name of the, the topic, which is orders. Should be partition now. Yeah, I screwed up with an S on there, okay? Didn't mean to do that, etc. I think you get the idea. There is going to be um, files in there now, and there they are. Okay, cool. So that is the first example. Let's see what happens. Let's unload this one. I'm going to go back in history here because I'm lazy, lazy. Spin that out. 
and unload this GCS sync. Let's open up the properties file again. And then this time, let's change this to be a, a JSON output. Yes, there's probably faster ways to do this in VI, but I'm not doing it. There we go. We're going to see, and then this is all documented at the, again, we're going to generate some new data into page views, and then we're going to use the JSON format and JSON converter. So let's run through that. Let's load this up again. Let's generate some test data. I'm going to use a different way, and since we're in Confluent, we've got this handy dandy. Again, this is covered. So we just ran, let's, if in the video, we just ran this uh, Confluent local config data gen on page views. And now we should see, let's go over here to the bucket. We should see some additional. Data topics, page views, partition, JSON. OK, so we just did that a couple of different ways. If you don't believe me, we can look at the 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 back into the console here. We can take a look at page views. There it is. We can now say that we've successfully written from Kafka to GCS with the GCS sync connector. Um, again, uh, links to wherever you're watching the screencast to the blog post that has links to the GitHub repo and some of these commands if you're brand new. Hopefully this helps. The next video is going to be reading this data from GCS back into Kafka. So that should be coming up next. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, that you enjoyed this uh, this TV show.